So we started in the tack room with Tina's uh, interview. And I just wanted to show you this saddle stand because I think they're so cool. The attention to detail in this place is incredible. Oh. Like this <laughs> drawer for bandages. Really nice, huh? That's storage for... Uh, everyday use? This is your everyday stuff, your, yeah. your blankets and stuff. Yeah. And look at the handles on the door. There are these little leather straps. I just think that is so cool. Tina, you said something about um, part of this was designed by a shipbuilder. Is that correct? Everything is designed. Everything. And the architect is a, a shipbuilder, yes. Okay. And I love the storage space for your boots. Can you show that, please? You can tell that a shipbuilder had a hand in this design because there's all these neat little stowage places. Using every inch. Put the light all on the back. This is also another ingenious idea. This, um, rather than using a dryer to dry their saddle pads and things, this is uh, a room full of drying racks. And they can actually blow hot air in here and hang saddle pads and things on these racks and they just dry overnight. It's obviously a very well ventilated room. This is of course a grooming area and in there is even more impressive storage. The part I like is this. Tina's idea, she wanted the horses not to get nervous when they're standing in here being groomed, so she put holes in the wall so they can see each other. Wave. <laughs> <laughs> this, then. this is where all the blankets for the horses go outdoor and the sweating blankets and the halters are. Okay, so this are field blankets. Yeah, field, yeah. And you what's, can you explain about the ventilation in here? Yeah, it's heated down under and it's open up here. So if it's raining, we could put the heat in up and the blankets get dry in here. Excellent. Um, just a horse standing in the box here and check out the ceiling now. Is that tongue and groove wood that you've put into these light alcoves? I don't know what that is. Okay. I don't know the word. It's well, it looks Very like common Swedish. It looks like a ship's charge. interior, actually, the wood that's up there. Maybe I can get closer detail. And guess who? Okay, can you go open his door and we'll see if he'll look at us? This is the father of my horse, Cadillac. Tina has been very successful with this horse in international competition. He's retired now. Carex. He's he was staring out his window there. Hey, dude. He looks like my horse in the face. Don't bite her on camera. <laughs> no, I don't want to. No, no, no. <laughs> so these are the paddocks on the other side of the stable. Very beautifully done. With the forest in the background. There's a lot of riding paths in the forest, and we have a big gallop track over there, too. Oh, isn't that nice? So the indoor arena is behind this? If you step up two steps, you can see. Turn around into the riding outdoor. Uh-huh. This is just a panorama of the fields and the paddocks that Tina has available for her horses. And over here we have the outdoor arena, which is incredibly beautiful and of course has perfect footing in it. And over here is the indoor, which we'll have a look, quick look at. Okay, so the lights are not on, but this is the indoor arena at Tina's place. She, like everybody else in dressage, has her mirrors down there. And uh, look at the beautiful ceilings. So this is looking back on the stable now. The horses all have really nice big windows. I love this color. I think we would call it okra in English, the color of your buildings. Falurafärg is called in Swedish. Mm -hmm. And what do you call it in Swedish? Falurafärg is very typical Swedish color. Okay. Well, I, I love the color. I could never say the word. Very usual here. <laughs>